Good afternoon, good afternoon. God is so good. He is so good. Come Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray you speak through me and speak to me and speak through me and anoint the words that are coming out of my mouth. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Um, I'm going to share this. You know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. So all my life, like all my life until, you know, you know, these past few years where God has just delivered me of fear, I have lived in, I, I lived in fear. Like I was scared of my own shadow. Um, I just fear of uh, failure, fear of man, fear of rejection, um, just fear in every, in every type of way you can think of fear. I, I, I dealt with it. Um, you know, just, uh, man, just, it sucked. It sucked. Um, but God just, you know, it was a process of getting delivered, um, of, of fear in all these, um, areas, but I'm so thankful, man. I was scared to even open my mouth and talk. Um, it, it had to do with fear, but also I dealt with a mute spirit. Um, so it's a, it's a miracle that I even talk, right? I mean, God delivered me uh, of so many things. So I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. But fear keeps you in bondage and you can't do anything for God if you're in fear. Um, so, and perfect love cast out all fear. So he perfects us in his love. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful and just blessed. Hallelujah. Um, so my prayer for you is that he uh, continue to perfect you in his love and rid you of, of fear because it's it's not of God um and worry and anxiety and all that junk um that doesn't come from God we need to learn to trust him trust him he loves it when we trust him hallelujah praise God mm. and whenever I did try to try to talk I'm I'm, on, I'm going back some years after I'd I'd gotten saved so I was at this um Revival, and that's where I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And this, and this, and this brother in Christ named uh, Mr. Raylan, if it wasn't for him pulling my, putting, because I'd raised my hand up, the preacher said, "Anybody want to receive Christ?" Then I raised my hand up it, the first time, but he asked us to raise our hands up again, and I wasn't going to do it. But Mr. Raylan behind me kind of helps me, and I lift my hand up again. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have lifted my hand up. So that's really the only reason I lifted my hand up. So time goes by and I wanted to tell him thank you so it was really a struggle for me to get any type of words out I just didn't talk and um so and then when I did try to talk it was a lot of stuttering and I, you couldn't make sense of anything that's just it just didn't come out but I remember being at celebrate recovery one night and walking up to him and and I, all I was trying to do is get a thank you I just wanted to thank him for for what he did there was no way I could explain what I was trying to thank him for for uh you know raise helping my get, helping me get my hand up to get my hand raised that night at that revival but I went up to him and I don't know if I got the thank you out but it was that hard for me to even talk it's just because of that mute spirit but man I'm so thankful if it wasn't for for him raising my hand up I don't know where I'd be out to be at today so praise the Lord praise the Lord I'm delivered of that dang spirit too hallelujah Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come Holy Spirit. I'm going to share um, a passage of scripture. James chapter 5 and verse 13. Starting in verse 13. Okay. Prayer for the sick. James 5, 13. Are there any believers in your fellowship suffering great hardship and distress? Encourage them to pray. Are they are there are there any happy, cheerful ones among you? Encourage them to sing out their praises. Hallelujah. Are there any sick among you? Uh, are there any sick among you? Then ask the elders of the church to come and pray over the sick and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will raise them up. And if they have committed sins, 
they will be forgiven. Verse 16, confess and acknowledge how you have offended one another and then pray for one another to be instantly healed for, for tremendous power is released through the passionate heartfelt prayer of a godly believer. Elijah a man with, was a man with human frailties just like all of us but he prayed and received supernatural answers. He actually shut the heavens over the land so there would be no rain for three and a half years verse 18 then he prayed again for the skies and the skies opened up over the land so that the rain came again and produced the harvest finally as members of god's beloved family we must go after the one who wanders from the truth and bring him back for the one who restores the sinning believer back to god from the error of his way gives back to his soul life from the dead and covers over countless sins by their demonstration of love hallelujah god is good god is good i need to close that <sighs> praise the lord um God is good. God is good. I'm going to read another passage of Scripture, too. Come, Holy Spirit. Um, Hebrews um, chapter 12, and this is the Passion Translation. Chapter 12, verse 1, the great cloud of witnesses. As for us, we have all of these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds. So we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin we so easily fall into. Then we will be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination. For the path has been already marked out before us. We look away from the natural realm and we focus our attention and expectation onto Jesus who birthed faith within us and who leads us forward into faith's perfection. His example is this, because his heart was focused on the joy of knowing that you would be his, he endured the agony of the cross and conquered its humiliation and now sits exalted at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3, so consider carefully how Jesus faced such intense opposition from sinners who opposed their own souls so that you won't become worn down and, cray and cave in, in under life's pressures. After all, you have not reached the point of sweating blood in your opposition to sin. Okay, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come Holy Spirit. I pray that the gift of faith would arise in you. Hallelujah. Um, um, in power. In self-control. To and um, the willingness to get away from certain people, places, and things that uh, are hindering you from um, running that race that you need to be running, right? In Jesus' name, being all that you can be in God. Hallelujah. I just pray that God will remove all distractions from you. Um, mm. I just pray a baptism of his love upon you. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so good. He is so good.
and step out and do things even if you feel a little afraid um step out and do it anyway and that boldness will come the more you do it the more uh just the more the more you get used to it yeah and that fear will go away hallelujah um y'all have a blessed blessed day and jesus loves you he loves you and he loves you hallelujah and y'all go in peace in jesus name